what's up beautiful people welcome back to another video now today i'll be showing you how to make this delicious sweet and sour tofu so without further delay let's jump straight into it guys so here i have a block of firm tofu you want to make sure you have firm tofu and i'm just going to drain the water pat dry and then i'm gonna go low it to dry out some more i'm just gonna add a bunch of paper towel on this apply some pressure with my glass bowl and allow some of the moisture to evaporate from the tofu Now in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and prep my veggies here. I have some red bell pepper, green bell pepper, yellow bell pepper, and some red onions. You could use white onion if you want, and you could use any assorted colors of veggies that you like. Now after my tofu is nice and dry, I'm going to go ahead and cube these. And guys, you want to be gentle right here because these can break easily. So even though it might look like I'm moving a little bit fast, I've sped the video up a little bit. But you have to take your very time with this one. You have to handle with care. So I'm just going to cube these and then I'm going to coat them generously in cornstarch. And coat them, you want to coat them lightly because if you toss it, you will break it. And I will list all the ingredients that I'll be using to make this tofu down in the description box so you could go ahead and check it out. And I also did forget to mention I added a little bit of salt to this because the tofu can taste bland. We don't want to overpower it with too much seasoning but we don't want it to taste less because the sauce is going to have all that flavor. So I went in and added a little bit of salt. Now my tofu is all nice and coated. I'm going to go ahead and fry these up until they're nice and crispy. And this should take anywhere from about 5 to 7 minutes. Now we're going to remove these from the oil, drain on a paper towel and continue to fry the rest. Now I'm going to work on my sauce. So here I have some orange juice and the season that I'll be using paprika, garlic powder and onion powder. I'm going to go in with some white vinegar, some sugar. some ketchup and of course some cornstarch for thickening I'm gonna give this a good whisk and then I'm gonna move over <laughs> to my veggies Now in a saucepan, I'm going to go in with a little bit of oil and I'm just going to saute these veggies for about a minute or two. We don't want to saute them too much because we don't want them to be soggy. We want them to still have a little bit of bite. Now 
Now I'm going to go ahead and remove these and then go go ahead and get my sauce going. Now guys, this is optional. You could use store-bought sauce, but trust me, homemade is much, much better. So I'm just going to cook this until it's nice and thick because everything is in it already. So we're just going to cook it and allow it to reduce to get nice and thick. Now that our sauce is nice and thick, so we're going to go, go ahead and add back our veggies <laughs> to the sauce. And I'm going to add my tofu, guys. I don't know why I'm having a tongue twister. But yes, I'm just going to go ahead and coat these generously in the sauce. And let me tell you guys, this was amazing. Guys, eating this, you don't miss meat. It's good now and then to have a little change. And honestly, this was really tasty. So I'm just going to coat this generously and your tofu is ready to be served i did serve this up with some white rice and rye plantain guys if you've reached thus far in the video and you haven't yet subscribed smash that thumbs up button hit the subscription button and turn on the post notification bell so you never miss any of my upload and also if you try this recipe and you like it tag me on instagram at toya's kitchen to let me know how yours turned out and let me know down in the description box what are your thoughts on tofu? Do you like it? Will you try it? Do you hate it? Will you not try it? All right, guys. Until then, I'll see you in my next one. Bye-bye.